Barbara Tannenbaum and I immediately <laughs> knew this was an artist worth looking at, whose work was worth preserving, and who we would probably want to uh, keep studying over time as we were, would be able to learn more about him. Yeah. Outsider art became recognized by, uh, it gained widespread recognition when Jean Dubuffet, the French artist, advocated that artists look at the art of children and also the um, what outsiders, or as they called them, the insolite. But there were also doctors in various um, institutions, uh, psychiatrists, who um, studied the art of the insane around the t early 20th century and started to use it as a tool for therapy and recognize it as art in and of itself. Outsider art, the interesting thing about that label is that it's a, more a comment on the artist than the art. The uh, binding factor is the artists themselves. I was, I was, uh, my mind was blown. Um, Chuck took me to his basement and showed me, he had told me about him and prepared me for Alfred. You know, to, to prepare me like, be, be ready, this is an interesting guy. You know, I think you could write a story about him. And we went into his basement and I saw it. I just, I, I just, uh, I was enthralled, you know. And I've always believed that we're all very close to the edge, you know, to, from sanity to insanity or, you know, whatever. And I was, I was like, man, I, I, I must meet him. And that's what I remember the most about the, the art, that it would be mostly characters of individuals who worked here, pictures of our vehicles, our rolling stock, and, you know, just showing, showing um, um, uh, examples of, of maybe some services that he had attended, a casket, a flower spray, always something to do with actual, the actual funeral business is what I remember a lot about his art. It was clear that there was a distinct way of seeing the world, a distinct way of representing people, very exciting psychological relationships between uh, the people uh, that he rendered was very, very thought-provoking.